Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So today we are going through how to create a binoculars effect in Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Yep, I say Photoshop because some people still use Photoshop to edit videos, which I used to in a couple of years ago. Anyway, let's get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Um, so first off, let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro. I already have created a new document which I'm calling Project 1. So if you look over here, I have just one of these videos. I'm going to click and drag onto the project window like so. Now I'll open it up in the timeline by clicking and dragging onto the timeline like so. Now, the first thing we are going to do is if you are on Google, you can easily just download a binoculars um, design from Google to make it a lot easier. You just click and drag onto the work. But I prefer to do everything from the scratch. So to do that, I'll just go into the new item icon right here, which is the second icon from the right. I'll click on it and I'll go to black video, which is right here. Now I'll leave everything the way it is and click on OK. So what I'll do is I'll click and drag and drop this on my timeline and make sure it is covering the entire video. So if I go ahead and play this, uh, let me mute my computer for a while. <laughs> so if I go ahead and play this, you see that uh, there's nothing. But if I turn off the eyeball for the black video, you can see we actually have a video in there like so. So what I'll do is, you know what, let's crop off this entire space by using W. We don't need all of that. Now, our main work is going to be on the black video. What we are going to do is to get those circles, we want to isolate those particular parts of the video. So we'll be using what we call masking. And if you look over here at the effects controls, uh, if you can't find yours, just go to window and you should find it somewhere here or shift five to get it. Now, under the effects controls, look for opacity. Then you see where we have the um, ellipse marks and we have the polygon or some say the rectangular mask. I click on the ellipse one like so. Now you notice it creates an ellipse for us. This is what we are looking for. But unfortunately the circle is inside. We want it to be outside. So what we have to do is what? Invert the selection. And if you look down here you can see inverted. Just click on that and we have our inverted selection like so. Now this is looking quite cool. You can go ahead and stretch it out to however you want it, but to keep it, let me use Ctrl Z to undo. I want to keep it proportional, so you have to make sure you hold down the Shift key and click and drag like so to make it uh, proportional, like <laughs> instead of actually deforming the whole image. So I'll place this somewhere around here. So basically that is it. But one may ask, what if there are two of them? Honestly, I don't know how to create it if there are two. So what I do is I use Photoshop and I'll create a new document. So this is Photoshop right here. Go into film and video and click on OK. I'll select the 1080p version because I'm sh I shot this video in 1080p, obviously. So what I'll do is I would create a new solid color. So the middle icon from here and select the black version. Then after that, I'll grab the elliptical marquee tool and create a selection like this while holding down the shift key. So that is going to keep it proportional for us. Try to place it at the center, of course. Then with that selection done, let me place it somewhere around here. With that selection done, you notice that you have what we call a layer mask on the right hand side. That is the white we have here. Now white will reveal and black will hide so basically we want to brush over this white part with black so that it hides this particular part we have here so i'll be using the uh, brush tool to do that you can also use whatever you feel comfortable with and i'll brush over in there like so now you notice that the layer mask is now black meaning it is revealing that particular sorry it is hiding that particular area and because our background is also white you can see that from here now with the same selection, I'll go back to the elliptical marquee tool. Now I'll click, start clicking. And once I'm moving, I'll hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and bring it somewhere around here. 
now it is important to click and drag before you hold down because if you don't do that the moment you hold down the shift key first it's just going to add in another ellipse for us or another selection for us which we do not want so we start clicking and dragging before we do hold down the shift key so i'll place it somewhere here i'll go back to the layer mask not the layer itself the layer mask and i'll grab my brush tool one more time and brush over here like so so basically this is what we have now once we have that let's go ahead and save this so save us file save us and save a copy Let's change it to PNG. If it's not PNG, it's not going to work because we are dealing with transparency here. And no, let's just save it as document and click on save. So if you go back to our Prima Pro project, which we have here, um, let me go ahead and delete what we have. So I can import this particular thing we just did. So it's a document. The name is untitled so i'll open it up here then i'll click and drag that onto our work like so stretch it out to cover the entire um, timeline and as you can see we have the binoculars effect right in like so if i go ahead and um, move this or go to the effects and controls i can go ahead and change their position like so so basically this is uh, it's quite simple you know what it's i think it's nicer if i bring the image or the <laughs> video right there so that i can see myself so that is how simply you can do it in premiere pro now let's go back to photoshop because we already have created this there's no need for us to do it one more time so what i'll do is i'll import my video under this particular layer and it is just going to show like as simple as that uh, i don't think if you want to export obviously just go to file click on exports click on media then you just follow the prompt from there i've noticed that in some videos people say i don't show how i exported the video so you, you click here to select where you want to save it and just click on exports and that's basically it so if i come back here i'll go into window and click on timeline it should be here and i'll click on create video timeline this is what we want to do now down here you notice that we already have a video here because of the color field we created we want to add in another video group so we click on this icon right here and click on new video group then in there you click on it again and click on add media so let's find a video where am i going to get the video the lobby youtube 2022 we should get a video from you know what let's go with this now photoshop is not really for editing videos so it is going to take quite a number of time for importing images or importing videos for that matter unlike premiere pro so this is what we have now you can see that we have the video on top and we have the color fill at the bottom that is what we created so what i want to do is just bring that layer on top like so and as you can see we are already getting that effect as simple as that also in photoshop if you just want to um, export just go to file you should find export here then move over to render video and um, select which folder you want to put it in and just click on render and that is it if you've learned anything in this video please let me know in the comment section below i'm quite eager to find out what you people have been creating Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Final Concept. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.